Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and I know in the last video I was like, yeah, I'll totally be fine by the time you see the next video, or by the time you see this. Well, guess what? Whatever I have has persisted for like a solid week, and it sucks. <laughs> so I have a nice raspy throat, super congested, and I feel great. But you know what? I gotta keep up with video making. So today I'm gonna be making a Monster Mash using the technique I showed you guys in the tutorial from Wednesday using the matrix system. And to match how I currently feel, I'm going to make the theme of this monster sickness and plague to give it a visual representation of how I feel currently. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay out the matrix for my plague sickness creature, whatever the heck this is gonna be. All right guys, so I have my little grid system laid out here and I think I'm gonna first insert animals that are typically associated with like sickness and spreading disease because I feel that fits pretty well. Um, the first one that comes to mind for me is rat since they transferred like the black plague back in the day and they still transfer a lot of diseases. And then the next one I can think of that I know has been associated with other types of sicknesses are bats. And I think they transfer more diseases from animal to animal, especially if they're the blood sucking bats. And then the third one I can think of, which is one of my least favorite insects because they're pests and they're just awful, are mosquitoes because they transfer a lot of diseases, obviously because they suck blood between different animals and different people and they just transfer a lot of nasty stuff. So for the last one, I know this one is kind of a little bit random and it's not really an animal scene as associated with sickness, but for some reason doing this made me think of the four horsemen of the apocalypse and one of them is plague. So I think I will put horse as one of the animals. And that kind of gives me a lot of different things to work with and it's gonna be interesting to see if I can combine all of them. Now for the top categories, I typically pick like different body parts or certain specific characteristics of different animals. But I think for this one, I'm gonna choose like, I guess more of a theme to match these. So what I mean by that is kind of a look that's associated with sickness. Like for example, the first one that I can think of is zombie because it's just kind of decrepit and dying and there's just all this decay all over the body and it's just somehow alive and it, it just looks gross and sick. The second one I can think of is kind of more, I guess as you could call it, skin level with like different boils and sores and like ticks and all these problems that happen like on skin. So then I'm gonna put boils and skin problems. And for the last category, sometimes when you're feeling really ill with like the flu or some type of really bad sickness, you typically can't eat or you just don't eat enough. You don't keep the food down, you don't have enough water. So you tend to lose some weight. So I'm gonna put the final category as kind of like famine. So I have my random number generator here on the right to kind of challenge myself because this will dictate where the X's go within my graph. This will create a completely unplanned and random creature that I'm gonna have to figure out how to create. And for this one, I think I'm gonna do four different random numbers because I have four different animals and I wanna give myself the best chance to maybe get a characteristic of each of these. All right, so let's go ahead and generate the first number. And here we go. 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have a horse with boils. All right, next number. We have one, so we have a zombie rat. And then the third number, we have three. So we have famine with a rat. And then for the last number, we have... Oh, one again. Okay, and for the last number, we have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we have a mosquito. Oh, this is weird. So we have rat, mosquito, and horse. And then I also got all three of the characteristics. So it's going to be a very skin and bone zombie with boils and skin problems. So this is gonna be very interesting and it's gonna be a pretty grotesque creature. I haven't drawn grotesque creatures for you guys. I personally love drawing them and it's actually one of the weird things that I like drawing is like zombie things and really intense and gruesome creatures. So if you can't handle this type of thing, fair warning, this might have a little bit of gore in it. All right, so I'm gonna make a copy of this little graph, put it on the top left so then I can reference it and I'm gonna do a couple of rough sketches to see how I can combine a rat, a mosquito, and a horse.
All right, guys, so I was two sketches in and I'm really digging the second design. Like, I really like this one overall and I really like how I could combine the three different elements. This first one had a couple of things that I kind of liked, but overall, as soon as I finished drawing this one, I'm like, that's it. That's the one I'm drawing. It's weird and grotesque and gross looking, but really cool at the same time. So I'm gonna take this sketch and I think I'll clean it up, maybe put it in a different pose, and then I'll do the line art and color, and then we'll be done. So I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, well I am all done with this monster mash and man this thing is like pretty gross but awesome looking. So what I combined was the rat, mosquito, and the horse. So the face is more of a rat-horse combo and then the back of the head I based off of the end of a mosquito. And then the tongue is supposed to be more like the mosquito sucker thing. I don't know what the technical term for it is. For the neck, the body, and the legs, I use the horse anatomy, and then I have mosquito wings and a rat's tail. So with all these animals combined, I also had to make it look like a famine-stricken zombie with boils and other skin problems, and I think I pulled it off pretty well. It's a pretty gross and grotesque creature. So my first thought for this creature was I could see it either in like a Resident Evil game or maybe even in like a Fallout game. It would just be this weird, I guess radioactive, grotesque thing that you would fight. I mean, that's the first thing I can think of. But I think it's also a pretty accurate representation of how crappy I feel. Like, all this is attacking me right now and making me feel awful. So thanks again guys for stopping by and checking out this Monster Mash. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you try this method out, please tag me on Twitter or Facebook. I would love to see what creations you make. And I'm also going to start including Monster Mashes or anything you guys send me, kind of like a little fan art column at the end of every video. So please send me if you make any monsters, I would love to see them and feature them. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that I have a Patreon and this file is going to be the Photoshop file of the month. So what you can do is if you go over to my Patreon, you can download the full PSD file of this and look at my different layers and see the different effects I applied to it and just kind of learn the ins and outs of how I use Photoshop. You can also get a lot of other cool goodies over there, like there's original sketch postcards, and uh, every month I do a digital sketchbook, and a bunch of other fun little goodies that you can get over on my Patreon. So thanks again guys for stopping by and checking out this video. I'm gonna go grab a cup of tea and lay down and watch some cartoons to recover from whatever the heck this is. And if you aren't already, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have new art videos every week, 
And if you like this content, you go ahead and leave a like, a comment. I'd love to hear your feedback on this grotesque creation I made today. So thanks again guys for stopping by and I will see you next time for another art video. Bye guys.